everyone, and welcome to Around Town. I'm Elizabeth Graff, and it is a beautiful day for band camp. Isn't that right? That is exactly right. <laughs> God has blessed us with a beautiful morning. Yes, He has. Oh, yes. I tell you what, we're here at West Lauren's um, High School. We're on their the band um, practice field, right. and I have band director Michael Dukes with us. And Michael, tell me, um, you know, we've we've heard band camp this and band camp that. What exactly is band camp? Band camp is an opportunity for us to get the kids together early preseason so that we can get their bodies conditioned, ready to go for the football season coming up. We all know that in South Georgia, Middle Georgia, it's just hot. It is. It's and very so hot. We're getting the kids off the couch and not from sleeping so late mm -hmm. and getting themselves physically conditioned and then working on the feet work, the body posture, the routines, the music, the horn carriage, all this together so that we can be prepared for our pre-game and halftime entertainment that we have for during the football season. Right, so if you don't have all that down, if you don't practice, you know, like the, the snaps and you get the feet just right, what's it gonna look like there on the field? I mean, right. are people it's, really gonna want to watch that? Correct, you, we want it sharp and very prideful. That's the main thing. Right. We want the kids to have self-discipline and great pride so that when they're standing tall on that field, they know that I'm prepared, I've worked hard this summer for this one moment, Mm -hmm. And the kids are doing a tremendous job. I mean, it, it is hot. You know, we're sweating, and that's the thing I keep telling the kids. You know, good bands perspire, great bands sweat, and yes. we're going to sweat because I want this to be a great band. These kids are working hard for us. I mean, we have had almost no problem with discipline. The kids have like, you know, you hear every once in a while, oh, i do it again. But you <laughs> know what? They do it. We, we move on, and we're praising the kids. We're coaching the kids when it's time to fix things. But mm -hmm. I am so proud of these young ones. You know, they are giving up their summertime to come out here and prepare themselves to get ready for that first game. Right. Now, you talked about discipline a little bit. Um, let's say, for instance, you go into the storage room, the band room, and you don't see it, you know, capped up. Right. Like what happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I think we'll probably see in a minute. Uh, the kids were, were disciplined a while ago. Tell me what you did. All uh, right. Well, I, after rehearsal yesterday, I asked all the students, you know, you, this is not your bedroom. This is our house. This is our home, the rehearsal hall. Well, you know, kids need to learn discipline. I'm hoping to help mom and dad that this will trickle down into their lives mm -hmm. so that they'll take care of their personal belongings. But uh, Mr. Dukes went in and cleaned up the band room after ah. rehearsal yesterday. and. Picked up all the trash, and I came in and told the kids, you know, I'm not your maid. No. I'm your band director, and this is why I expect you to keep your house. Mm -hmm. I expect your personal bedrooms to be like this also. So we had to do some running this morning to do a little reminder that this is not the way we're going to keep our school. Right. We want to look good, sound good, and we want every trace and track that we make we don't want to leave anything behind. We want it better than we appeared. Right. We even do that when we go away to a ball game. We don't leave trash. If we see something, our leadership makes it picked up. We want people to come back and say, boy, that West Lawrence school is awesome. Mm -hmm. They take care of things. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to make sure we do with yes. our band program. Yes. Yeah, if you treat your things right. like it's somebody else's, which hopefully you treat that well, Absolutely. then it's, you know, it, it's a good, it's a good lesson for them to learn. And you know, sometimes parents, you know, sometimes your kids have to learn the hard way. <laughs> yeah. They did today. Absolutely. They had That's to right. run. That's right. Yeah. And tomorrow, I, I bet I see a much better room. Mm -hmm. And next week, if it happens again, we're going to run more. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, what is your theme going to be for this year's um, uh, field show? We do several things. The first one we're doing uh, that we're preparing for now is called the Dance Classics of the Decades. And, uh, you know, kids know that Mr. Dukes and the staff, we write our shows to make sure we're playing the music to our crowd. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you know, the crowd is my age and a little younger. Uh, and when, so I'm going to pick the music that we grew up in so that they can remember and, you know, we can prick a heart and say, I remember that song. And it's great. I have people come to us and they'll say, I told my wife that song you played, that was our first dance. Oh. <laughs> or we were on a date that night. It, it, it just, you know, we're yeah. bringing back memories and uh, to put a smile on the face. Right. Tap that toe, get the crowd going. So we're doing the dance classics of the decade. So uh, we also are blessed to have a lot of grandparents and aunts and uncles who are maybe older who are coming to watch. So our first song that we're going to hit this year is Can't Help Falling in Love, an old Elvis Presley classic. Uh -huh. Then we're going into some more of the, we're going into some 60s songs. We're going into Soul Man mm -hmm. with Sam and Dave. 
And uh, of course, the Blues Brothers, you know, they were a popular TV show, and uh, people watched the, the Soul Man there. They were going into Hold On, I'm Coming, followed by Respect by Aretha Franklin. Uh -huh. Then we're headed into the 70s. We're going to do Pick Up the Pieces, uh, which is a saxophone feature from the Average White Band. Then we're going into Frankenstein, which is going to be our percussion feature. Then play that funky music, White Boy. <laughs> all right, so that's all the 70s genre. And then right. we're headed into the 80s, The Best of Times and Rocking the Paradise by Styx. Oh. So we're hitting 60s all the way to the 80s, which hits all of our lives. Right. That are aging up. And then, of course, I told the kids, you know, we're going to do stands tunes and we're going to pick some music that fits what they enjoy, you know, right, playing. Right, right, because... <clears throat> You know, the entertainment just doesn't end at the field, right? Oh, no. When they're up in the stands. Let me see some hands out there. How many dance up on the stands when the band is playing during the, the games? Absolutely. I yes. see a lot. There you go. There you are. Amen. <laughs> that pregame, we want to get the stands going, get them yes. excited about the Raider spirit when we're at home. Yeah. Football spirit, you know, it's an atmosphere, and that's our job, to coordinate with the cheerleaders, get the crowd excited, hear the guys out there beating each other up and just getting that roar sound, you yeah, know, yeah. the fun time of football. Exactly. Okay, so you're going to have auxiliaries out there, and, you know, they're going to be twirling and Correct. dancing. Correct. But can we expect any dancing from the, uh, the uh, musicians? We don't dance on the field, mm -hmm. okay? We haven't incorporated into that. Most of ours are coordinated core style marching. Uh -huh. We let the girls dictate all that. That's what they're trained for, and I don't want any other bodies hurt or anything. Because right, some right. of them just don't have the the, uh, the the muscles to be able to do the moves that some of them dance. So we're going to let the flag dance and majorettes do all that. Uh -huh. We let the horn line and percussion mimic the, the routines of the forms that m fit the music. Now in the stands, oh yeah, oh, we'll, yes. we'll be doing some rocking and having some fun. But my philosophy on the field is we need to really, let, let's let the music and drill and forms you know, dictate what we have. We're not what we call a show band. You know, that's a different style. Right. And uh, to be honest with you, Mr. Dukes doesn't know how to move like that, so I can't <laughs> teach it. But that's it's just It's kind of like this, kids, right. but it's not like this. Correct. Let's see if you can do it. Yeah, I can understand oh, that. Oh, yeah. Now, I, I have another question. Um, what does it take to, to come up with the, the drills and the forms? I mean, it, you must start, like, at the beginning <laughs> Of like maybe January, even back in uh, October. Yeah. I'm already working on next year's show. Exactly. Oh yeah, we're already. I'm already in the stage of what the main themes we're yeah. going to do next year. Um, you know, the main thing I do is I find what type of theme that's going to fit, mm -hmm. and we, you know, I sit down and my staff, we sit down and say, give me some ideas of some tunes that you think the crowd would enjoy. And then we contact uh, an arranger or a composer, wow. and the guy that we use is the guy that writes for the University of Georgia. He's a friend of mine, Tom Wallace, and we use the yeah, Go <laughs> Dogs, and we use a lot of his charts. And, and he's just been so good to us, you know. Mm -hmm. When I call him, he'll say, "Mike, I knew it was time." Yeah. And so then we get together and we work out the arrangements, and then we piece it together. And I like to try to keep the show flowing. I, I'm not a person who likes to come out and just play three songs and off the field. Right. We have nine right. songs that's going to be in one show. Oh, God. And I want I just it to just keep, just keep <laughs> flowing so that we hit it and go, hit uh -huh. it and go. And I give that credit to Mr. Han, who was my mentor, a yeah. former he's band director from Lawrence County and the Dublin area as well. Uh, Mr. Stanley, which was one of my mentors, is also. Mm -hmm. They have taught me over the years, you know, Mike, this is what really works. So I just kind of keep that philosophy as the years I've been trained through them we just carry that on for all these years that we've gone and that's yeah. what i'm hoping that once i leave and then and the director who's taken over from there maybe can keep some of that also right but you won't leave an af till after my son uh, <laughs> who plays the tuba graduates right bless you right there you go <laughs> we don't know what god has planned but we'll see <laughs> all right well we're going to go for a break right now but when we come back we'll have more from the raider brigade brigade band so stay yes. with us you're watching around town <laughs>
All right, welcome back everyone to Around Town. Elizabeth Graff here, still at West Lawrence High School. Band camp is going on in full force. It's actually the last day, and I have Morgan Collins here with me. She's a senior and also drum major. So how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing good. Yeah? yeah? Now, are you drum captain, drum major captain, or what is your position here? Um, it's just drum major. We have two, there's two other drum majors, and we kind of just share the power equally. Okay. Yeah. So this is your senior year. How did, you know, you started how, how young and then you came up to where you are right now? Um, I started when I was in fifth grade, mm -hmm. so I was 10, I think. And um, I, Dukes, throughout middle school and high school, was like, when you get to high school, you need to try out, you need to try out. And I never did. And then uh, finally, my junior year, I was like, okay, I'll finally try out. And I did, and I ended up making it. So. Right. And it's not an easy task, is it, to get to be a drum major? It's no, it's not. You've got uh, you've got to know all the patterns, the marching, the commands. Yeah, you have to know everything that everything that Dukes knows. Right, and then you're also a voice of authority. And um, w what's it like to be able to to stand up in front of all of your peers, and they're all looking at you, waiting for your command to show them when to start. It's, it's great. It's like overwhelming. Like you've got um, all these people looking at you and they're waiting on you. And it's like you're the, you're the thing that they look at. Yeah. And, you know, you're the person that they respect and they come to with their problems. And, I mean, sometimes their problems get like really overwhelming because you've got 215 people coming to you. Hey, I got this problem. And, uh, but, I mean, it's, it's a fun job. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's great. Now, for those out there who do not know what a drum major is, what is a drum major? Um, the drum major is basically the field commander. You um, stand up on those podiums, and uh, you keep the tempo, and the you know you let people know when they need to come in, and how fast the song is going, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And you still have that authority up, um, you know, in the stands too. What do you do there? Um, in the stands, we run, we do the pep, like pep songs and stuff like that to get the crowd going. And, the, uh, you know, to help the football players, you know, not lose confidence right, in themselves. Right, keep, keep up their spirits, mm -hmm. too. Right. So, you know, that's the last day of band camp. It's actually your last day of band camp ever yeah. for high school. How do you think things are going right now? This is probably the best I have seen band camp go since I've been in high school. I mean, they've already got, uh, they're setting the fourth song on the field today so that's crazy because we've only been running drill since Monday right. so five days and they've got like 16 20 charts wow that's crazy wow that's that says a lot you know especially since you have some younger ones who are coming up what's it like for you to to help out with the younger ones I it's it's I love it it's great they um you know you have to be really patient with them, which is something I'm not really that patient, but it's it's helping me become more patient, and um, it's just I mean our band is only as strong as our weakest link, so you need to make sure that everybody understands. Yeah, and you know band is actually um, a rough kind of sport too because Morgan here got whacked in the head with a tuba, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> First time ever, last day of band camp, my right. senior year, get whacked in the head with a tuba. Well, there's always first time for everything, right? I guess so. Right? But you're tough, and especially you had your bandana. You knew that this was going to happen, but unfortunately you missed your bandana, right? Yeah, that was exactly it. Yeah. I mean, maybe a little bit higher, a bigger bandana. <laughs> yeah, a hat, a helmet. <laughs> right. All right, well, good luck this year. Thank you. Okay, now I have Mr. Richard Horn, director of uh, West Lawrence Middle School. And um, tell me, how? what do you think about... Um, band camp so far and how did you get involved with this? Uh, band camp's been going great. The kids are doing a great job. The uh, instructors are doing a good job and uh, it's actually been pretty comfortable these past couple of weeks. It hasn't been overly hot so that's been uh, that's been helping out. We've been getting a lot of work done. Right, exactly. Especially today it's overcast and you got a, a bit of a breeze so it oh, makes yeah. it bearable. It's been, we've been very lucky this these past couple of weeks. It's, mm -hmm. it's been it's been very nice. Mm -hmm. So tell me tell me first um, about your background in um, music. Okay. Uh, well, I went to Georgia Southern University and uh, actually started off as a, uh, an engineering major. Uh, and then I realized that I just missed music. Yeah. You know, I played in, uh, in band all in high school and middle school, and I played piano ever since I was six. So uh, I just missed music, and mm -hmm. uh, I got back in it, 
and I never looked back. Right. Graduated in 2005 and I took a job in South Georgia teaching a band for four years in a very small school district and uh, came here in 2010. Oh, wow. It's been a good, it's okay. been, been a good time. So you came here in 2010, so you've been at the middle school for four years now? Yes, uh, well, up here as well, at the high school. Yeah, as how well. did you get involved with the high school? Uh, well, whenever I was hired, that was, uh, that was how it was, was presented, is that we work at the middle school and we work at the high school, and, uh, you know, we do everything, we do everything together as, mm -hmm. a, as a team, the three directors. So tell me what you do here um, with Mr. Dukes. Uh, during the fall season, my primary responsibility is the, uh, is the drum line. And uh, during the spring, I do the young high school band mm -hmm. and uh, percussion ensemble, if, if I have time. Right. <laughs> but we're always so busy. But uh, if I have time, I try to do the percussion ensemble as well. Right. So percussion's your thing, right? Yes. That's what I started off playing way back in sixth grade. Yeah. More years ago than I care to think about. Right. <laughs> so, um, you know, we've got band camp. This is the last, actually, guys, this is the last day of band camp today. Um, what do you feel about this year? I think I think it's shaping up to be a really good year. Yeah. Uh, we've already been we we can play through the uh, the first five songs of our halftime show, and I think the uh, I think the crowd's really going to like it, and uh, it should be it's going to be a good show. All right. Now, when we had spoken earlier, um, you know, I I I told Mr. Horn that he's going to be having my little sixth grader tuba player come up, um, and you told me about um, being a parent and how I can um, get involved. Uh, let's yes. tell everyone else about that. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you have a if you have a, a student in band. Uh, feel free to come to our band booster meetings. They're usually here at the high school. Um, I wish I could tell you exactly what days they are. They're on Tuesdays, and I can't recall if it's the first or the second Tuesday of the month. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we, we make announcements in class. So if you're watching and if you're a band parent, please get involved because we'd love to have you, and it's a good way for, for the parents to be involved in the band program as well. Now, what can I expect when I come into the, um, the booster meetings? Uh, it's usually very organized. Uh, we try to get done in an hour. You know, we all have you know our own lives to have to get back to, uh, but it's usually very organized and it just it's it's very it's very. We talk about just the band business, uh -huh. uh, financial reports, uh, director reports, you know, things like that, and okay. uh, we talk about committees and what parent and what people can do to help. So as a parent, I can I can put my input in and find out what I can do to yes, help. Yes, definitely. Great. Definitely. Awesome. <laughs> we need as much help as we can get. <laughs> With this many kids. Yeah, there is a, a lot of kids out here, guys. And, um, you know, I can't wait to, to have mine in here at the high school, marching around, oh, yeah. learning it'll, his thing. It'll get here quick. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me that. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. All right. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. All right. Thank you. All right. Now I have Skylar Woodard, and she is with the dance team, or dance line. And you are a senior, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we go all out, <laughs> definitely. I even have blue hair. Oh my God! It's a little bit on the green side. Yeah. You must be the the light blonde, or you know, <laughs> got to be fun being a senior. It is. I'm so excited, yeah. and it's sort of bittersweet because this will be my last year with the dance line. Right. And so, how many years have you been with the dance line? Since I was a freshman. Okay. So you've been here, and you've you've been to camp t camp uh, band camp over and over and over, year after year after year, and this is your last day of band camp. What do you think about this? What how's it been going so far? This one has actually been pretty easy for me. They get, I mean, we all get real sweaty, but as a senior, you know, I get to you get to chill out yeah. a little bit, right? So I'm like, y'all do it. I want to see you work hard. Right. I've been working hard all these years, so yeah. So tell me about your dance line. They're fabulous. I mean, we cut up, but when it comes down to it, on Friday nights, we are totally together. We watch each other, and it's just. We really are a family. We're so in sync. We know what everybody else is thinking, and that's what makes us dance so good. You know, we stay in time because we're, I mean, we just know each other. We know exactly what we're doing. So, right. Right. Do you ever get sick of them? I mean, you see them all the time. you ever get sick of them? <laughs> no. They're interesting. They keep you going. I mean, yeah. it's like... Yeah. Black family. All right. Well, thanks for so, uh, for talking with us. We're going to have more come on over here. Who's next? <laughs> I now have Winter Criswell, and you are also uh, with the dance line or color guard. I'm with the color guard. With the color guard. And what year? Um, what what year? Um, well, are you a freshman, a senior? <laughs> I'm a junior. A junior. Okay. So, what do you think about color guard? Your uh, fellow color guarders. Um, color guard members. I don't think they're color guarders. <laughs> I think they're all amazing people, and I love doing it. It was a great way to meet new people, and it brought me out of my shell. Mm -hmm. yes. 
it's a great way to start, like yeah. your high school years out. Yeah. So how long have you been in Color Guard? This will be my third year. Third year. What made you decide to be in Color Guard? Just, I don't know. <laughs> I just saw the flags and I thought, well, that's pretty. Let me do that. Yeah, but and did you know it's going to be so hard? I didn't at right. first. It really is harder than it looks. But. What about band camp? Did you know that was going to be as hot and, and just strenuous? No, I did no. not. Uh, but it, is it worth it? It is well worth it All right. for the Friday nights. So tell me about your um, your instructor. Which one? You, the one who, who refuses to come into my interview. She, she, sa- she says she's being a little shy. So tell us um, who, uh, who you have instructing you. Uh, for we have Caitlin weekend. Stanley. Mm-hmm. It is her birthday today. And happy birthday, Caitlin. <laughs> we decorated her car up on the hill over there this morning. Awesome. Um, she's amazing. I love her. Yeah. She, she really does do a good job of this. Well, that's great. And then I can't wait to see you guys on the field. I'm sure the flags will still be pretty. <laughs> All right, another senior here with me. And are you with the dance line or color guard? Dance line. And you're Haley Garrett. Yeah. And and so so you've been with the dance line for quite a while now. Mm-hmm. And what have you seen with um, you know the girls that have come and gone? And and what do you think about this year? Um, every year we always have a great group of girls, but I think this year is going to be really good. I like all the girls on it. Everybody is very determined, and it's just a great group. So, and tell me about um, your, the band camp practices. Is it hard for you to get the the younger ones motivated because you know they they haven't done something like this before? Yeah, um, this year, everybody showed up on time. Everybody's been, because we've been doing workouts at 7.30. We actually get here 30 minutes early, and everybody's been here and been working hard, so it hasn't been a real bad challenge at all. Now, you also have a kick line. That's Is that every year you have a kick line? Yes, every year we have a kick line. It's something that, if you watch other dance teams, they may not have it, so it kind of makes us, it's, I don't know. Our tray. I don't know what you call it. Yeah. I, I, when I uh, was watching you guys and your instructor, what is your instructor's name, by the way? Shelly. And Shelly, she, she's another shy one. She had you guys do your kick line. Why were there moans and groans? You guys don't like the kick line? It's difficult, and we did just start, I don't know. Kick line, it looks really good when we get on the field. So we're just still trying to work on it, and there's a couple little mishaps, but it always looks great by the time we get on the field. So. Well, you know, during practice, y'all looked great, too, and I can't wait to see you guys on the field. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now I have Haley Gill decked out as a senior, senior. very proud senior. Show everyone this shirt you got here, Raider Brigade. I actually got this my freshman year. Uh-huh. I'm just wearing it as kind of a, you know, flashback of my first season. Oh. <laughs> And so sweet. Ra- yeah, no, Raider Brigade 2011. 2011. Oh, sweet. And, and property of Color Guard. Guess, guess yep. what she's on? She's on Color Guard. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, it's your senior year. It is, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like one of those bittersweet moments. You're having a blast, right? Yeah. Well, hopefully I'll be able to continue it in college. I hope. Great. I was fortunate enough chosen to be captain this year. So, um... Awesome. And my co-captain, which ran off somewhere because she didn't want to do this. <laughs> but, yeah, so I, I don't want it to end, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. And, if oh. I mean, I honestly can't. I've been doing it so long, I can't imagine not doing it anymore. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. So, okay, imagine you're done with college. Are you still going to be done with Color Guard? Do you think you I might come back not. and instruct? I w- I want um, majoring in early childhood education, and hopefully I'll be able, you know, to be one of those teachers that teaches and coaches. So, Sweet. Yeah. Oh, guys. I don't, like I said, I, I don't want to be done with it completely, yeah. ever. <laughs> Instructor Haley Gill. Yeah, j- I mean, it just... <laughs> it sounds good. It's you, got a good ring to it. Yeah, but, I mean, you can't... For people that haven't done it, mm-hmm. there is... I mean, you can't explain what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, we get we get so excited and so pumped, and everybody's looking at us on the field, sweating and tired, and, and they're we probably come. Thinking, Why, why are, you are you doing that right. from from seven thirty in the morning to four in the afternoon? Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's because we love it, and yeah, I mean, it's it, we're all one big family, and I know well now. You know, all of the people that I've grown up with have already graduated, so I'm trying to get to know the younger people but it's it's 
rough yeah. <laughs> having everybody leave. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But it feels good to be able to, to teach. Yes. To be more of a teacher now. Yeah. You've got that teacher spirit about you, too. I, yeah, I can tell. Totally. Oh, you guys. This so. is the one you need to look for right here. I hope so. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Bob Smith here with me, and let's um, have you tell us your title here. I am the assistant band director uh, to uh, Mr. Dukes and Mr. Horn mm -hmm. uh, here at uh, West Lawrence High School, West Lawrence Middle School, and Southwest Elementary. See, that, that's why I gave him the opportunity to give us the title. I would have tripped all over that left and right. Yes. <laughs> so, so, like some of the kids I've seen on the field, and, and um, you know, I, I've been in band, um, but it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. And you kind of forget things like how difficult it was to remember the way you're supposed to plant your feet and everything. Oh, yes. And it's uh, everything in the world. We tell the kids this all the time. The more you practice, you know, the better you get at things. Yeah. You know, uh, and it's funny. In music, we're always striving for, for, uh, for perfection, but we never ever get there because we keep trying to make it better, make it better, make it better. Yeah. And so I tell them all the time that practice doesn't necessarily make perfect, but it does make better. Yes. And they've come to realize this now by high school. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. And you know, I've, I've spoken with a lot of um, the, the young adults that are out here, and okay. every one of them have said that it has been the best year by far that they've seen amongst each other oh, um, being the yeah. last day of camp. They feel really good about their progress. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. We, we uh, as directors, sometimes don't necessarily get that feedback uh, from kids. Kids are funny nowadays, you know. Yeah. They crave discipline and structure, but they will never admit to it. So uh, that's good to know. Thank it you. is. Thank it you. is. Yeah, they feel confident about what's going on here. Yeah, well, and they've been working really hard uh God has blessed us with some amazing weather, like this morning, where oh, we see, realized... we got a good breeze. It's I mean, it's 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 just really rather splendid. Uh, it is. We've had a couple of days where we got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of the heat and a little mm -hmm. bit of humidity, but uh, for the most part, we've been blessed to have a really rock-solid uh, band camp with weather, and, you know, anytime it's weather like this, the kids will work harder and everything else, and yeah. we've just been blessed. Yeah, it, yeah you, you can also tell... They're happy to be here, too. They are. We have some really good student leaders this year who mm -hmm. have been really stepped up. Uh, all of our drum majors, all of our section leaders, and they've really stepped up into their leadership role and really taken ownership of what it is, that the vision that we're trying to accomplish here. Right. Um, I've had band programs where uh, I had 50, 60, 70, 80 kids, uh, and then I've had band programs where I've had 150 kids. But when you're dealing with... 230, 250 kids, it takes it on to a whole nother level. Exactly. So you've really got to have those uh, mentors in place and uh, the leadership in place to really uh, succeed and do well because right. any good band director will tell you, you can't do it by yourself. Right. I was about to say, I'm sure Michael Dukes really appreciates the leaders and you guys, oh, you and yeah. Mr. Horn well, out just, here helping out. I'm just pleased as punch to be able to be out here and add my uh, two cents to everything and try to help the kids out and make them the best they can be and everything else. Yeah. We tell the kids all the time, the, there'll come a point where their junior or senior year where they'll start to realize, oh, well, at certain things, you know, they, they uh, supersede us in that aspect. Right. And we tell them, well, we want you to supersede us in 
you know, certain things. Right. And um, so it's it's a it's it's a growing process for all of us. Mm-hmm. As, so. as is a lot of things. Yeah. Yes, very much so. Yeah. Um, I will say this though. Uh, with the show that we're doing this year, um, the music is almost just rather contagious. I know I saw you in the in the room yesterday, and you heard the kids play, and it's just kind of it's got such a, a, a groovy feel to it. I'm that you're telling just, you, we're really hoping that the reaction of uh, the crowd that the first uh, uh, game that we play this at is just going to be one of like awe, and everyone's going to be you know getting oh, up in the stands be and, and dancing. yes, and it's going to just bring the spirit all that much more. Exactly. And football team comes back from the half, the the twelfth man, the whole you know uh, cheering section of the audience is there for them, and they're pumped right. up and they're ready. And oh my gosh! So that's what we're really hoping to accomplish with you know uh-huh. everything and. It's looking to be a good season this season with our it with is. our football players, so we're really uh, we're really excited. Awesome! Well, thank you so much for talking with oh, us. Absolutely. And I, you know what? We got some seniors who are doing something interesting, so you know we got to go and check that out. All right, now I have Trevor Deal with me, and um, he's one of the many seniors, but also a leader. And what does it mean to to be a leader for you as a senior? Uh, it makes me feel like uh, all my years of hard work have been. Uh, They've been worth something, and uh, it feels like uh, I have my chance to make my section and our band better and as good as we can be. Right. Now, we talked to you um, when we, you know, you guys had your leadership camp, and now we're here, and this is the last day of band camp. And in in your opinion, how do you think things are going? I think we've progressed really well. Uh, I think we're a lot farther along than we were in the past, uh, but I also think we still have a long way to go. Uh, Two weeks from today is our uh, first game up down in Thomasville. So uh, we, we still have a long way to go, but we're, we're getting there. We're doing really good. Right. Now, I know there's a burning question in everyone's mind watching this right now. What is going on with so, this? Today is Senior Spirit Day. And uh, so uh, a few of the guys and some of the dance line girls wanted to paint up. They're wearing shirts painted up. And, and these uh, are fellow seniors. Right, fellow seniors. And uh, we just wanted to show our spirit, show why the class of 2015 is the best class ever go through West Lawrence High School. Oh, my goodness. That's so awesome. I love this confidence. So, okay, obviously it's not just, you know, when it being a leader, it's not all business and everything. It's also fun and games. Right, yes, ma'am. And so when, when all these um, uh, younger ones who are here with you, when they see this, they're going, all right, now i got something to look forward to. Right, right. right? So we, we, we strive to inspire them uh, as leaders and as seniors and the older older band members that, that we're supposed to be setting the example uh, on how they're supposed to progress through their high school right. career. Oh, wow. I, you know, I've had so much fun here today at band camp, and I'm going to close the show out with the Raider Brigade Class of 2015 seniors. So hold on just a second. 15 seniors! Let's go! 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 Let's go!